Hi there, Bucks fans, and welcome inside Buccaneer Arena. I'm joined by one of the newest members of the Des Moines Buccaneers organization, our president of Buccaneers Hockey now. It's Nate Toit, who is coming over from the Iowa Cubs after a 12-year stint in the front office with the Iowa Cubs. So a familiar face to a lot of you, and Nate, thanks so much for stopping by and chatting with me. Nate, it's a great movement here. There's so much excitement buzzing around the team, but let's take a second to just have you introduce yourself. People might know of you from the Iowa Cubs, but for those who don't, take a second to introduce yourself to our fans. Yeah, sure. So uh, uh, I'm an Iowa native. Uh, I've lived in Des Moines now with my wife for uh, about 20 years. Uh, actually attended Iowa State University, played baseball there, was drafted by the Cubs in the 97 Major League Baseball draft. Uh, came up through the Cubs organization and actually pitched for the Iowa Cubs in 2001, which is when I uh, really got my first start working in uh, the front office of minor league sports. Um, started out in sales and while I was still playing in the off seasons and did that for about three or four years. And then when I retired from playing after the 05 season, uh, went to work full time at the Iowa Cubs and uh, did go back and get my degree from Iowa State as well. But uh, uh, worked my way up at the Iowa Cubs front office uh, as a sales executive and then eventually was named uh, vice president and assistant general manager four years ago and, uh, and really learned a lot from a, a very successful uh, minor league franchise like the, like the Cubs are. And so um, it's, it's an exciting time here, like, like you said. Uh, you know, my goal is to, you know, sort of get in here and, and uh, observe and evaluate sort of what's been going on. Um, get to know the staff a little bit better, get to know our fans a little bit better, uh, get to know our employees a lot better, and, uh, and then apply a lot of the principles uh, that I learned at the Iowa Cubs that made them a success uh, to the Des Moines Buccaneers to try to invigorate um, you know, the business and, and fan expectations here. What are some of the takeaways that you had during your time with the Iowa Cubs that you're going to try to now you know, take from downtown Des Moines up here to Urbandale and initiate here? Well, I, first of all, I, th I think you have to create um, an environment that's a fam family-friendly environment, and uh, and you know I know that uh, the Des Moines Bucks has uh, a long storied history of success on the ice. Um, it also kind of has that history of being more of a I don't know, kind of a rowdier crowd, if you will. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but it just it, you know it's got you know cheap beer and and a fun time. And I think that there's a, a good mix and match that we can bring to the arena that is more fan friendly, uh, still get that excitement in the in the stands and, and still put a quality product on the ice. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of things that we did through sponsorships, promotions, uh, ticket pricing, um, you know, philanthropic work, community engagement, uh, stuff like that, uh, that we did at the Cubs that it was, you know, all encompassing uh, that really, um, you know, started building that momentum up and uh, you know obviously uh, there is some similarities too as far as the facil facilities goes. Uh, Principal Park has been downtown Des Moines uh, going not Principal Park but the ballpark has been down there since the 1950s. Um, it became you know Sec Taylor Field in 1992 when they did the when they built the stadium and then of course Principal came in and bought the naming rights in 2004 I believe and so um, you know there's some similarities here and and this is a really historic uh, arena and uh, I think we're going to take a look at some short-term things that we can do to this place um, you know and then obviously we we uh, have a vision too for you know three four or five years down the road what we can do. Speaking of short term right at the beginning here what are some of the key components that you're looking at that you want to turn over to start trending in the right direction with this club just again we're early on and the team was just sold last week this is our first full week yeah. of work here what have kind of been the early going the early goals that you're trying to set in the short term well number one it's uh, it's to build trust with with everybody it's it's trying to build trust with the employees it's trying to build trust with the players and the coaching staff and then of course it's building uh, trust with the community and uh, and you know that that kind of thing doesn't happen overnight but I think that uh, you know having Scott, Scott Clemenson on board uh, as an as a part owner in this uh, organization brings uh, instant credibility uh, to this ownership regime um, I know Scott wants to get it as, be as involved as he as he possibly can even though he's not st uh, living in Des Moines but his, his family still is um, so I think it's just uh, coming in and, and sort of, like I said, evaluate, observe, evaluate, 
But you know, we can still do some fun things, some ticket options. Uh, we can do some concession stand promotions. We can do some, you know, some exciting things on the ice. Maybe bring some people in. Um, you know, get the Bucks name out in the community a little bit more. Uh, hopefully, the media, you know, will will help pick that up a little bit more. Um, and then go out and, and talk to our, you know, our fans and and our corporate uh, partners, and uh, you know, slowly start to build that up. So that's what. That's what the short-term plan is, is to really get out there and get in front of people. Um, I think that uh, that may have been neglected, you know, the last four or five years, and, uh, and I know that we can do a better job. Now, moving away from the short-term, obviously you're not going to divulge a lot of longer-term goals right now, but looking back on it, what do you want the stamp to be? What do you want you know, Scott Clements and the new ownership yourself when people look back on when you took over down the road can say, you know, we left it like this or we have built this. What's the stamp? What does it look like? What do you think it's going to look like when you've got to that point where you've said, okay, we're starting to see what we've put in here and that process is starting to give a lot of big results? Well, first of all, we want to we wanna make the Des Moines Buccaneers the premier team in the USHL League. And, uh, you know, and that comes, and I don't mean that just in business, but I mean that, you know, uh, competitively on the ice as well. And so, you know, it starts with the relationship with the players and the coaches in the league office. And then um, business-wise, you know, I, I think that they're, we want to make Des Moines um, a growing hockey community as a whole. You know, we have, there's no, it's no secret, we have the Iowa Wild in town. And, uh, you know, until now, I, re I really still don't know what sort of, you know, olive branches have been extended to try to form a relationship there, but uh, that's going to be one of my goals. Um, I think hockey is a growing sport youth-wise in this town. Um, there obviously is a lack of uh, ice time that's available in this town. That's no secret either. And so, you know, I think that's, an, that's actually an initiative of, of Scott Clemenson. I think that's an initiative of a lot of hockey people in, the, in this town of Des Moines that, you know, uh, they, they feel like that there maybe could be some sort of facility, whatever that looks like, down the road, just to help build hockey. And uh, so I would like to, you know, extend a relationship and, and, and reach out to the Iowa Wild, reach out to, um, you know, Des Moines Youth Hockey, and and uh, you know, use our players and the Wild players and all the hockey people in this community to come together and, and really form and, and start creating and building hockey fans. And I think if we can do that. Um, then everybody's going to win. We're going to win. The Wild are going to win, and every you know all the youth hockey uh, organizations out there are going to win. Well, it's pretty thrilling stuff to be a part of. I know I'm happy to be everybody else that's surrounding Buccaneer hockey right now. It's just there's a buzz around this rink, around this town that is just so excited for the new chapter. So hey, great to have you here, and thanks for stopping up and chatting with me. Well, I'm looking forward to the opportunity, and, and I know we just got going here a few days ago. Um, but, yes, the, the response has been tremendous. Um, you know, the Bucks have a loyal fan base, and uh, Des Moines is a pretty loyal town. And so I think that... You know, if we all kind of come together and, and approach this whole thing the right way, it's going to be an exciting time for Des Moines Buccaneers hockey. Nate Toit, president of the Des Moines Buccaneers. The Bucks in some good hands moving forward. Exciting times here inside Buccaneer Arena. That will wrap up another edition of Bucks TV. Until we set sail again, he's Nate Toit, and my name is Ben Gistlison.